a quote by U.S. President Barack Obama says, This is the moment when we must build on the wealth that open markets have created and share its benefits more equitably. Trade has been a cornerstone of our growth and global development, but we will not be able to sustain this growth if it favors the few and not the many. The Trinidad and Tobago Coalition of Services held their sixth annual National Services Week 2013, Dream It, Do It, at the Hilton Conference Center, Lady Young Road, Port of Spain. The Trinidad and Tobago Coalition of Services Industries Limited represents the local services sector's interests to decision makers, as well as international, regional, and local stakeholders, and is known as the national umbrella body that brings together all services sector organizations and associations, which functions as a focal point to lobby, channel, and address trade in services, as well as services development issues, which are important for the sector to thrive in the competitive global environment. With the aim of giving service providers the general understanding of the investment criteria and skills set required to generate business plans and improve trade globally, the TTCSI held a series of seminars that showcased the benefits and contributions of the services sector. Mr. Nirad Tiwari, the Chief Executive Officer of the TTCSI, was the Master of Ceremonies for the series of events, which ran from November 5th to the 9th. The series of seminars focused on the benefits and contributions of the service sector tailored to improve the fabric of business in our country as we network competitively, effectively and cooperatively with countries regionally and globally. Minister of Trade, Industry and Investment, Vasant Barath, placed emphasis on this matter during his opening remarks at TTCSI's pitch workshop entitled Structuring Your Winning Pitch for Growth. The government of Trinidad and Tobago um, has, from its, from its own perspective, has looked at the services sector as an area for the diversification thrust. I think we've all heard for probably more than 20 odd years the government's mantra or government's mantra of diversification of the economy. And uh, we've now gotten down to the serious business of doing that. First of all, the identification of those areas and those sectors and actually rolling them out and actually putting emphasis and the infrastructure in place uh, to be able to accomplish it in the areas of financial services, ICT, uh, tourism, uh, the creative industries, um, which, which, is, which predominantly uh, means fashion, music and film in Trinidad and Tobago, downstream energy services and the maritime sector. Uh, all of those are areas where services are going to be uh, very important. But also the government is looking at how do we create markets uh, for our entrepreneurs in those areas. And so you will find that more and more as we sign bilateral agreements and free trade agreements, we're building in a service component into them. A good example uh, is the recent signing of the European Partnership Agreement, the EPA, which allows um, providers from Trinidad and Tobago access to 500 million people um, across the European market, across uh, 20 odd countries. So we're looking now more and more uh, to move away from our traditional methodology of signing uh, goods agreements only and uh, now moving into signing uh, services agreements um, with, uh, uh, with countries that uh, we want to trade with. I want to um, commend the uh, Trinidad and Tobago, uh, the TTCSI, the Coalition of Services, as it continues to assist with market penetration, sector development and export capacity building and awareness in the services sector. They're doing a, an excellent job and I just wish to congratulate them. I, Please give them a round of applause. The international feature speaker for the pitch workshop, Mr. Cameron Elahian, ICT venture capitalist, engaged the audience as he humorously encouraged young entrepreneurs to believe in themselves and their offerings. You know, my name is not the easiest name. The announcer went and said, the next presenter is 
Kam, 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 something. LA, LA, um, something. And the name of company was CAE Systems. He announced it K Systems. I said, oh my God, <laughs> you know, nobody remembers my first name, my la last name, or the name of the company. And I came and I stood and I looked, half of the audience, honest to God, were sleeping. The other half were smoking and talking and whatever. How can you get their attention? You know what I did? I did nothing. Absolutely nothing. I just stood there like this and I walked. And I walked. Slowly, the room starts to quiet down. People are waking up. They're saying, who the hell is this guy? <laughs> Why doesn't he talk? Everybody's jumping up and down. I'm the best company, the best manager, the best product. I didn't say anything. I just walked. And I just walked. One minute passes. Two minutes passes. Three minutes, everybody's getting really nervous. They're all looking. They wake each other up. They start to say, look, there is a crazy guy up there. And I just walked. And I kept looking at them and I just walked. They start to murmur. The room becomes so quiet. Everybody is sitting on the edge of their seats trying to figure out what's wrong with me. How come I'm not talking? The other seminar that was held on the 8th of November 2013 featured the very interesting speaker, Mr. Richard Gerver, as he wowed the audience with his comedic style of report. Mr. Gerver emphasized the importance of having developmental skills in comparison to the over-reliance of a formal education in today's world. The world believes the system's broken because we're not doing it intensively enough. So what you're finding in countries like the UK and the US and Sweden is they are now slipping down international league tables so what they're doing is returning to more and more traditional systems, more and more oppressive systems. They are increasing the level of testing and examinations on their students and what fascinates me is when you look at the world's most dynamic education systems they are all moving away from high stakes testing, all of them, without exception including Finland, which is the best performing country, they virtually have no formal testing. With the introduction of an informal approach to education, we will be able to revolutionize the development of the skills of citizens in our country, therefore improving the quality and quantity of human resources and trade locally, regionally and internationally. The series of seminars proved to be successful as it allowed the audience and specially invited guests to better understand the challenges faced by local businesses and the economy opening new avenues filled with endless opportunities. When we asked members of the audience how the seminar has benefited them or will benefit them in the near and the far future, they had this to say. TTCSI, right, we work very well with them. Actually, we are one of the gold sponsors. And they are providing services and working with the service contractors like ourselves. And we have been getting a lot of networking because there are architects, there are contractors involved, and they are assisting us in raising the standard of the roofing business in the region. And we are working together with them also to do the same. What I will say though is that there was a passion amongst the educators I've met and the policy makers to be fair for Trinidad and Tobago and in particular how education and the next generation can make a big difference to the future of, of the island. And I think that that passion needs to be directed now, it needs to be given opportunity to flourish and develop and I think the key issues for me are there need to be a far greater investment on the development of collaborative networks. There needs to be work done on getting a, a much more constructive and productive dialogue going on between the ministry and educators themselves. 
Educators need to have their horizons broadened by creating a much closer collaborative link between the business community and the education community. We look forward to another very entertaining educational series of seminars at TTCSI's National Services Week 2014, where we will learn even more about the innovative world of business, trade and global networking. Thank you.